What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you a trick that will help you learn algs a lot faster. I actually did something that kind of touched on this topic a couple years ago, but I thought I would redo it uh, and kind of break it down more for you. And so the thing that we're going to be talking about today is triggers and why triggers allow you to learn algs a lot easier. So a trigger, there's not really a set amount of triggers. There's a lot of things that can be considered a trigger, but there are some that are more common than others. Uh, a trigger can be something like this, R U R prime U prime, which is called the sexy move. Uh, that's a very common uh, move that you will see in solves. It's a very common thing in algorithms. So oftentimes you'll see algs and there's parentheses that break up certain moves in the algorithm. And that's normally breaking out triggers so that it's easier to learn for you. So like I said, there's stuff like the sexy move, there's inverse sexy move, there's R U to R prime, there's R U R prime. Uh, all of these can be considered triggers and we're going to go over these and kind of uh, break it down for you just so you're more familiar with the common triggers and help you uh, learn algs faster. And uh, I will also show you some examples at the end just so you kind of know what to look for in algorithms. So the first one that we kind of already talked about is the sexy move, which is R U R prime U prime. This can be done very quickly. You will see this one all over the place. This is in so many different algorithms. One thing to note with all of these triggers is you should know them for the front right, which is gonna be where you're gonna see all of these, but also know it for the front left. So that would be L prime, U prime, L, U. So you're just mirroring the algorithm. And then also in the back, so R prime, U prime, R, U. And then also the back left, L, U, L prime, U prime. You should know all of these. The most common ones that you're gonna see are front left, front right, and back right, but it's good to be familiar with all of them. Uh, it's just kind of general knowledge on the cube. So if you can't remember the actual moves, you might just be able to remember the insert because everyone knows this if you do F2L. So R U R prime U prime, and that's the first trigger. But this one is inverse sexy for the front right, which is just U R U prime R prime and then front left as well, U prime, L prime, U, L, and then back right, U prime, R prime, U, R, and then back left would just be U, L, U prime, L prime. So it's good to be familiar with all of those. This next one is called sledgehammer, and it's where you insert this pair, but instead of doing an inverse sexy like this, you're just gonna do a sledgehammer, which is R prime, F, R, F prime. And then also for the left, it would be L, F prime, L prime, F. And then you don't really need to worry about that for the back two slots, but I'm sure you can figure those out as well. And now this is the equivalent to what the inverse sexy would be, but for sledge, this one is called hedge. This one is F, R prime, F prime, R. So again, it's just taking this pair and inserting it right here. F, R prime, F prime, R. And then the same thing for the left side, F prime, L, F, L prime. So for the next ones, they're all just three movers, so I'm just gonna show up for the front right slot. So this one is just when the pair is over here, and you would do R, U2, R prime. There's no name for this one, but you're gonna see it in algorithms a lot. This next one is just like part of an inverse sexy move, but the first U is already done. You're also gonna see this a lot. It's just R U prime R prime. This one is just a sexy move without the last U prime, but you're also gonna see this a lot. And that's just R U R prime. This next one is similar to the last one, just with a U move attached to the end. So it's R U R prime U. And this one you might not see as often, and in most algorithms you'll probably see the parentheses be around R, U, R prime, and then the U move is on its own, and then there's, you know, maybe like an inverse sexy or something like that. But I think this one is fair to count as a trigger because you will see it fairly frequently. In the soon, you'll actually see that plus another trigger, so it's R, U, R prime, U, and then you finish with R, U2, R prime. So now I'm gonna go over just a couple ones that might seem a little weird, but still fall under these triggers. So in some algs, you'll see something that is basically a sexy move, but maybe one move is slightly different. So for this one, wide R, U, R prime, U prime, I would view this as a sexy move, but the first R is wide, because that's all it is. R, U, R prime, U prime. 
So that's something to keep in mind is sometimes it'll basically be a trigger you know, but maybe instead of a normal R, it's a wide R. So that's something to keep in mind. Then you might also have ones like this where it's U R U prime R2. So this is similar to an inverse sexy, but instead of the ending being R prime, it's an R2. So U R U prime R2. So this is something to keep in mind because there will be plenty of algs where it's basically very similar to a trigger you already know, but maybe one move is a double turn instead of, you know, just an R prime or something like that. So that's most of the common triggers that I think you'll see. There are certainly other ones and that's not all of them, but I think if you know these main ones, learning a lot of the other algs is extremely easy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some examples of algorithms with triggers inside of them. This first one is for an OLL that is a dot case. You can see it starts out R, U, R prime. So that's a common trigger we know. And the next move is actually a U, but like I said, there's a lot of algorithms where they don't consider that to be one of the trigger moves. So you're probably gonna see R, U, R prime more frequently, but again, R, U, R prime, U is something you're gonna see pretty frequently. So it starts out R, U, R prime, then a U, and then the next set is a sledgehammer, then a U2, and then another sledgehammer. So instead of this alg being a bunch of long strings of moves, you can just remember it as R U R prime, which is a trigger we know, U, sledgehammer, U2, sledgehammer. So you can basically remember it as three triggers with some U moves in the middle. You just have to remember what the U moves were, which is a lot better in my opinion than trying to memorize each turn just by hand. So for this example, we have another dot case and it starts like this wide R, U, R prime, U prime. So if you notice, that's just a sexy move, but the first R is a wide. So that makes it a lot easier to remember. You can basically remember the start of the alg as a sexy move. You just need to remember that the first one is wide. So the first four moves are already a trigger. Then you're gonna go ahead and do M2. Then you're gonna do an inverse sexy move. And then you just have two more moves you need to remember, which is just U prime, M prime. So for a lot of algs, you don't necessarily have to remember it move by move. Uh, the beginning here was easy. It was like a sexy move, then an M2. Then you do an inverse sexy. And then instead of remembering U prime, M prime to finish this, you can pretty clearly see that this white needs to go here and then down. So U prime, M prime. So sometimes you can just remember it based on how the alg looked. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of approach memorizing algorithms. All right, so this OLL is actually pretty neat. It's just a couple of triggers that are really easy. So we talked about R, U, R prime, and the start of this alg is wide R, U, wide R prime. Then you're gonna do a sexy move. So R, U, R prime, U prime. And then you're gonna undo the beginning moves that you did. So wide R, U prime, wide R prime. So that was just a couple triggers and that made that alg a lot easier to learn. So now if you don't have a lot of experience with algs, this one is gonna seem a little intimidating, but it is pretty easy. So all it is is M, and then you're gonna do a soon, R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime, and then you have two moves to finish the cube. So this alg is just one M move, do a soon, and then U, M prime. That's a lot easier to see. Now here's a neat case where the more algs you know, the easier it becomes to learn algs. So this OLL right here, all it is, is soon. And then you get F sexy F prime. So if you know this OLL, it's just the, uh, if you do two look, it's just orienting this case. Or if you know just this OLL, it's just the easy T. So the more algs you know, oftentimes more algs become easier to learn because sometimes an algorithm is just a couple algs put together or maybe there's an alg in the middle somewhere. So this one again is just soon and then F sexy F prime. So now I'm gonna go ahead and break down the F perm PLL. For those of you who are familiar, you basically know that this alg is just three setup moves and then a T perm and then you undo them. But at first glance, if you're new, you're looking at this alg like, holy cow, this is so long. But if you already know the T perm, you pretty much already know this algorithm. So it's R prime, U prime, F prime. Then you're gonna do a T perm but you're not gonna do the last F move. So normally there would be an F move right here, but instead of that, you're just gonna do a U R 
to finish the ALG. So the ALG would be written like this on screen. R prime, U prime, F prime, then the parentheses and a T perm without the last F move, U, R. So if you already know the T perm, you already knew this entire long ALG. So it looks very daunting, but if you already know one of them, it makes it a lot easier to learn this one. So those are just a couple of examples where knowing triggers makes ALGs a lot easier to learn. Instead of this huge big string, it's just a couple of triggers that you probably already know. You just need to know that those are triggers and be familiar with it. So using this method, you can learn algorithms a lot faster. And the more you learn, the easier it gets. You'll be able to spot the triggers easier. And like I said, typically the more algs you know, it will also assist you in learning future algs because the alg you just learned might be part of another algorithm. So I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know in the comment what you thought of it, and I will see you later.